So hello also for the Uusi Koulu seminar participants in English and, and their online. I hope that there is also some of our project partners and, and inter international friends in school youth work. And um, when I was listening to the, the first speakers here today, I was thinking that it's very nice uh, to, uh, when creating something new, as school youth work has been, so that there is this like, uh, like solid uh, institutions like AVI and, uh, and XAMC in general, universities, and then associations developing uh, in long distance these kind of things. But then it's, um, as a project manager, <laughs> I'm also very happy that there is these possibilities to make like uh, fast pilots and when we get an idea that what could be like tested and piloted also between different countries, these projects uh, are a very good way to test something new. And in this UVIS project, uh, after developing school youth work nationally in Finland, here is many people who has made that work. Uh, uh, we uh, in Juvenia ha had like uh, already tools to also ask international partners from from our networks to to work and test and maybe get some new ideas also out, out, from outside Finland. And here you can see our partners. Uh, there is uh, uh, another higher education institution from Greece, this University of Thessaly. Then Eve is here from Saarema, Youth Work, and Kuresaare Municipality. And then we have a, also a municipality from Portugal with us in this project. And here you can see our targets. We, we have decided to define the roles of school youth work in, in different countries, combining le formal and non-formal education in schools, and uh, relations to curricula at schools, and then finally developing the quality of school youth work. And <clears throat> well, this is the structure where, where pro projects are normally built on these kind of work packages. And uh, in, U in UVIS, we are now in uh, starting this work package number two, which, which, which we feel very exciting because we are starting to mix and test the best practices that we have been looking for from these four different countries. And then after that, we will still develop an educational model of, of this subject that can combine uh, students from different countries to study together school youth work. And what's happening in the near future is our um, um, manual or handbook, or we don't have the exact name of this publication yet, but uh, we will present uh, the uh, like thoughts about youth work, youth work at schools from these four countries, and then the good practices that the partners have uh, wanted to give us to, for this book. And we will uh, tell you more about it on our web by web page soon. And the main, main thing in this uh, 20 minutes we have for UVIS is the Sa Saarema youth work, but before that we hear also Veronica, who will tell us more. I can put your slide here. Thank you, Marita. I can go and put it there in the box. Uh, Thank you for, for having us, us here today. Uh, my name is Veronika Hellström, and, and uh, you just heard a little bit about our UVIS project, where we have as partners Estonia, Greek, and Portugal. 
And I'm going to, to talk about uh, why it's not always so easy to talk about youth work in a European context. Um, I, I don't refer to our UVIS partners here. I, I will talk on a general level. And I don't have the same challenge as the previous one to fill uh, 45 minutes. I have about uh, four minutes. So, so uh, I keep it very short. Over the last uh, decade, uh, youth, work, youth work has become an increasingly important part of European policy. And there are many efforts made on on local, on regional, and on national level. Uh, nevertheless, there are still several questions concerning both the definition of youth work as also for the professional profile. And um, in Finland, we are used to that uh, the Youth Act is providing us a framework for youth work, but this is not the case in, in every country. And at the European level, uh, there is no uniform binding uh, legislation for youth work. Um, there is, however, for example, a recommendation uh, where, um, which has been adopted of all the 26 countries of European Council. Uh, it's not a binding uh, recommendation, but it does uh, define what youth work uh, is. Um, but because youth work differs from country to, to country, the definition is, is very broad. And uh, when discussing youth work, um, national realities are very important. Uh, it is to understand both the similarities and the differences in approaches and, and methods of youth work used. Um, the recognition of youth work also differs. There's different histories and traditions of you, um, youth work in Europe, and it's... Uh, included in the national policies in very different ways. So the conditions for doing youth work vary widely. And not uh, all the countries even have the word youth work. Um, there are also large differences in study opportunities for youth workers between countries, as not every country have a youth work training or funds, funds for, the, for the work. Um, in Finland we have, we can study youth work at uh, the secondary education, but also uh, in university. Um, but there are also countries uh, where youth work training means that they can um, participate, participate in courses, in short courses, workers that are, are for example, volunteers in, in organizations. Um, so youth work in, in Europe is, is done with very different educational backgrounds. Alongside traditional forms of youth work, youth work in, in schools is becoming more widespread. And schools is a good environment for doing, doing youth work because it, it does reach almost the whole age groups. However, different countries have very different starting points when it comes to, to uh, include uh, youth work in, in the everyday school life. And of course, the diversity of different forms um, traditions of youth work, as well as the school cultures um, have a great uh, impact on what opportunities there is for, for doing youth work in schools. Uh, in addition, many European countries have still a very long way to go to recognize the benefits what uh, school youth work uh, brings for the young people. Um, to develop youth work in schools and educational institutions, we need cooperation 
We, we need experiences, uh, exchange of experience, um, and we need spaces where we can discuss this. We need to work on, on structural levels, as we heard today, also on attitudes and understanding. Uh, now I think my four minutes <laughs> have gone, so, so my dear colleague Eve from Estonia will continue. Yes. Hello, I'm so happy to be here. Um, uh, as you heard, I'm from Estonia, from Saarema. Um, actually, I work in a youth center, but I'm um, pretty much every day at school also, because I'm a, I don't call myself a teacher, but actually I'm a, um, as, uh, on the paper, I'm a teacher there. Uh, I'm also um, trying to finish my studies in master's, uh, youth work management. And um, about school youth work, when I was listening to your presentations, I think um, the challenges we have are the same. And um, I think the, nowadays the school is um, changing. And I'm so happy that uh, more and more um, they value the same values that we have as a youth worker, as a youth work. Um, in Estonia, we don't call uh, the person, as you know, a youth worker at school, school youth worker. Actually, we call them like uh, um, hobby leaders, activity leaders. And um, actually, there's like a big gap um, between uh, uh, um, background of those uh, people. I was doing my um, bachelor's thesis. I was um, researching how they identify themselves. And if the youth worker or this um, hobby leader have... Um, like a teaching back background. She feels she's a teacher and she likes this formal way to lead uh, young people. But all those who's been working as youth workers, they feel they are youth worker at school. And there's like a big gap because um, we have um, lots of like unions who gathers together all the youth workers also from the school. And um, we are a kind of against each other because uh, they are like uh, feeling uh, like in schools there has to be like more formal and uh, like we have like boundaries. And we as youth workers, we try to make room <laughs> for like our values or our methods. And um, the school youth workers in Estonia, the basic thing they do is they support the student council and they are um, the member of the school board, actually. And um, till the 20, 2013, the main um, work they had to do is um, held all the events. But right now, more and more uh, students are like doing events and uh, traditional, I don't know, get togethers and so, uh, something like that. And nowadays, uh, school youth workers writing the projects. And that's why I'm uh, really, uh, like I said, I'm mostly every day at school because we do projects together. We, uh, we, uh, they invite me to, I don't know, like, representing or, or, or this uh, other way of thinking. Um, this, our handbook, um, I bring from Estonia. There will be several uh, practices. One of them is um, um, <laughs> uh, this uh, uh, smart, like a greenhouse, uh, click and grow. It means like... Um, uh, we have like greenhouses at school, like uh, you can see, like they see the old, old um, process there. And this is like the great way to introduce uh, uh, the young people something um, dif differently. Uh, and also all those projects are written by the youth workers. Uh, 
Um, then there will be also the youth cafes. Youth cafes, um, is every, any, anybody here been in a youth cafe? Or this uh, method is actually well known. And we do it like um, we get together with politicians behind the tables. And uh, actually it's really interesting because the politician says that if they talk to young people, like uh, let's say heart to heart, then um, they realize that young people has so much to say. Like it's, they really has to, they really have something to say. And um, this, I think the youth cafes is really popular in Estonia, in schools and in muni municipalities also. And um, the good practice is in, uh, in our handbook is um, the challenge to move. It began in um, COVID period when uh, uh, school youth workers had to figure out something that, uh, um, that um, young people can come out uh, from the house. So uh, we do, did like a challenge, like which school moves more, which class moves more. But now, even three, four years later, we do those challenges. It's held by the youth workers, uh, school youth workers. And that will be in April again. <laughs> and, um, of course, the outdoor classes held by the uh, school youth workers. We do lots of, um, I think, maybe because in Saarema we have so small community and everything uh, works together. And uh, these outdoor activities are held like in nature or somewhere, I don't know, in, in another environment. Like um, uh, ninth graders are going to explore different uh, jobs. Like we have like uh, schedules in the, uh, like, it, it, like the job, job set, the subject, you have to go uh, to see the uh, different jobs. And... Um, it makes like uh, uh, it makes um, more interesting to study new things and to explore what you want to do in your future life. So <laughs> I know I begin to talk so fast, <laughs> but yeah, basically I think um, in Estonia uh, we are <laughs> the most important thing for me is like. Uh, the youth worker at school is like a bridge between the uh, teachers and the students and uh, from the other part, uh, the school and the community. And um, this, um, to make the school better place, I know that we are good at um, bizarre results, but in Finland lives the most happy happiest uh, students but uh, we are the like unhappiest students <laughs> that's why it's really important to create the environment that is um, uh, that is nice because I always tell the young people that you should have uh, at least one grown-ups you can talk to and I think the school youth worker is that person so I think that's it for me. <laughs> Thank you.